YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. And uh, first of all, I want to say Happy New Year's. It is now 2022, and uh, this will be an exciting year. We will have tons of more videos and products coming soon. So a lot of stuff coming for GFX Comet, and you guys might have also noticed the new logo. Uh, comment down what you think. I know some people aren't fans of it. Some people do like it. Anyways, in this video, I want to show you guys how to make a glossy bun like this i think it looks uh, really cool and i think this kind of style you can use for practically i mean well, <laughs> you can use for a lot of games is what i'm trying to say so so uh, yeah once you guys know how to make something like this it is actually it is quite simple so i'm gonna guide you step by step through how to make a bun like this even if you're new to photoshop i will show you how so uh yeah make sure to check out our store uh, for this new year's we're going to start adding tons more products as of now we only have about 10 to 13 uis but um eventually we want to have over hundreds of uis and uh, other products you can purchase so uh, yeah without further ado let's get right into it first things first uh, i'm gonna click on background right here i'm gonna go to my foreground color and right here i'm going to choose a dark gray like this, I'm gonna hit OK. Now you wanna hit Alt and Backspace on your keyboard. And this is going to fill your canvas with your foreground color. All right, now let's make a new layer. Hit this button. Uh, it is the second button from the right side. Okay. Now go to your rounded rectangle tool. So if you don't see it, it is probably the rectangle. You gotta click and hold. It will open this menu. Just go down to this one. And for the radius, let's try let's try 30. Uh, fill, make it white, so click on white. And stroke is off, so click this button. All right, so now we're gonna test this out by dragging out a button like this. So I think this is fine. We're just gonna keep this right here. Okay, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to cut this little piece out. Save that, so we have that for reference. All right, now here's where the fun begins, and you're gonna see how a button like this is made. So we're going to right-click the rectangle. Let's go into bundling options right here, and you wanna hit gradient overlay. Once you hit this, uh, make sure the angle is 90. Mode is normal. Opacity is all the way up. You're just gonna click the gradient box and the first ticker. We're going to double-click. We're gonna choose a color. We'll change this later, but uh, this color is F79010. I'm gonna hit OK. I'm gonna double click this one and select the top color. This color is FBDC43. As you can see, we're gonna hit OK. Hit OK again. Now there's just some minor effects. We're gonna add uh, inner shadow. Uh, let's turn opacity up. Change the color to black. And for the angle, let's go for negative 90 instead. Okay, get that. All right. Uh, let's turn choke up and size down and distance down as well. And let's change the mode to normal. From here, we could lower the passage slightly, very, very light. All right, now we're gonna add a stroke. Change the color into white, like this. Increase the size to seven, and now you will see uh, this is uh, taking shape. All right, now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit Control J to copy this layer. We're gonna hide the previous one. We're gonna right-click the new one, and we're gonna hit Convert to Smart Object. And now with this, we're gonna make a new layer. Right-click the new layer and hit Create Clipping Mask right here. Now we're gonna go to our pencil. Okay, right here, this one. The mode is shape, the fill color, the fill color we're going to go black and stroke is off so we hit this button. Now we're just going to click down on this corner, alright, and we hover around here and click and drag this up. All right. Now we're just going to go around like that, we're going to hit control shift and X on our keyboard. Now with this we just lower the opacity. Or change the mostly overlay. And now you will see we have a nice uh, little shape here. 
Now to make the gloss effects, make a new layer. We're gonna go to our ellipse tool, change your color to white, and just drag out some low uh, ovals, some highlights. Control T, and you can rotate these shapes like so. You can make them smaller. Now for our text, uh, hit your text tool right here. Change your color to white, and you can use any font you want. Um, so let's change our font to something we can use. Let's just use 8 bit one. Control T, and you can enlarge your font. Place it right in the middle uh, to be exact. If you hold Control, you can click on this layer. And on your move tool, you can hit these two buttons Control D to deselect, and you will have your text right in the center right in the middle now right click let's go into let's go into bunny options and right here we're just gonna go down to drop shadow and turn your spread up size down distance around here and as you guys can see we have our finished button uh, if you want to change the color it is very simple first of all let's take all these hold shift click Control G to group it all up and you can go uh, Control J to copy on this new one, click on the rectangle. If you hit Control U on your keyboard, now you could use a slider to change the color accordingly. So as you can see, we have two very beautiful buttons like this. They look super clean. You can use this for your uh, Roblox game. Anything you guys want. If this video helps you, make sure to leave a like. Let's uh, get above, I don't know, 20 likes. That should be uh, pretty easy. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We got a lot more stuff coming soon. And with that being said, I'm going to see you guys in the next video.